Citizens of the Reject Nation, this is not intro take number four due to streaming error connections. This is just fine. This is the first take, that's for sure. We're going to keep this real brief due to time delay. Michael Tesla, joining us from New York City. How are you, my friend? I'm doing just as good as I was the first three takes, Greg. And how are you? I'm doing splendid levelless. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we're here for the Acolyte. I'm very excited for this talking point show because, boy... Does it create talking points for everyone? What did you guys think? Is it a good penultimate? Leave your thoughts down below before you get to any of our thoughts on this episode. And also leave a like and subscribe and click that bell because we've got one more freaking episode to get to. Thanks to Prepper for editing down these freaking highlights. And also thanks to all of you for freaking joining our damn Patreon page. You get the full length of action watch we're going to sync up with this universally beloved show. And also we covered several other things exclusively over there. Michael. Damn it, you ready to watch the show? No, you're a Disney shill, Greg. I know. We're ending on that, now let's watch the damn show. <laughs> let's watch it, Greg, let's go. Oh, okay, we're back on Brendock. 16 years, oh, flashback, okay. No, he's, let's go. Is, he's explaining the 16 years. Oh, but through the form of a flashback. I see. I just wanted to see him talk it. Oh, it's like a Mr. Fusion. It's a Back to the Future reference, Greg. There she is. She's back. I told you it was going to happen. Thank God. Oh, he's back. Maybe he'll do uh, some Jedi stuff this time. Nope. <laughs> He's going to unceremoniously die again off screen. What are they doing? Getting moss samples. You never got moss samples before? Is this the part of the story that he's starting with? <laughs> with her on the table? It all began <laughs> by collecting moss samples on <laughs> Brendock. <laughs> I'm hungry. It's unwise to insult a wolf he's cooking. I'm just sick of eating new legs. It's an Easter egg. And I want to go home to Coruscant. I want to go home to King's Landing. Been here for seven weeks, and there's no one here, and if we were going to find something, we probably would have found it by now. A hundred years ago, this planet was catalogued as lifeless because mm. of a hyperspace disaster. Oh, the hyperspace disaster. So there's some plants here. Big deal. Calm yourself, Padawan. Do not center around your anxieties. The dark side was in him. We are looking for our virgins. What's the virgins? A concentration of force energy mm. centered around a location. A virgins could create life like what we see on this planet. Ah. Curious. It's a power. Nothing could be more important to the Jedi. This is a noble mission. Is that the thing that created the twins? Yeah, it's kind of a interesting. Doesn't necessarily say if it came from the light or the dark, though. <laughs> My Padawan is too distracted to appreciate the significance of a person. He's very worried about his hairline. Are we sure that it's the cause of life on Brendo? It was disturbed, unbalanced. You were disturbed. Do not confuse Torben's feelings with your own. Hmm. Good note. I do not tell him answers to ease his mind. I teach him to seek the answers for himself. That's called mentorship. Uh, That's why I have a Padawan and you do not. Oh. <laughs> what, what? <laughs> what, uh, what's going on here? <laughs> yeah, right? Follow the river. We haven't covered the Northlands yet. Meet us back at the camp. Okay. Oh, sweet. Speeder bikes. Very realistic looking speeder bike. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're not real. Don't, don't say lies, Greg. This is tying into the flashback from episode three, everyone's favorite episode, when he was spying on them. Oh, good call, Greg. When I can't find you, I look here. Why do you always have to do things like that? Why do you always run off alone? These little shits are using the force. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, <laughs> I can't talk about children like that. Do we need to see all this again? Well, for those of us... I mean, we know this happened. <laughs> see, it's just like Back to the Future, Greg. We are not alone. Indara, can you read me? I got a lot of a lot of hate mail for saying there was going to be another flashback, and right. I deserved it. What? Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. there's another flashback. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see who started the fire. Was it always burning since Brendock's been turning?
of security cameras. Oh, sick. Oh, I really thought it was going to go up that a lot faster. <laughs> Just the regular <laughs> rock climbing, man. I thought there was going to be some like, Ezio Auditore de Forense, you know. Wow, he's still going. I really thought he was going to like, whoo, whoo, whoo. nothing. This is an ambitious, he saw all this. Oh, what a creep. Also, their force sensitivity isn't great for the fact that they can't feel his presence, just... Yeah, his force sensitivity is off sometimes, too. Oh. They sense something. Oh, is that what that was? No, it was a creaky noise. <laughs> they didn't sense shit. <laughs> oh. He was around for all of episode three. We should return to the ship, ask the council for guidance. I fear for the girl's safety. The witches prepare for a ceremony tonight. Fear for their safety? What if the girls are in danger? Oh, dude, you jumped to a conclusion. Indara, I know you would defer to the council, but I insist. We don't have high-speed Wi-Fi. See what I have seen. You oh, jumped soul. the shark's soul. You just immediately assume danger. It's an old platform elevator. This must be an old mining site. Kilnaka. Slice the controls. Wow, they just broke in. I'm going in alone. We must escort you. It's too risky to go in as a group. They'll take it as a threat. There are over 50 of <laughs> I was gonna say. 50 women and only two children. We should go as a team. But we must be vigilant. I wonder what kind of light they're gonna paint Soul in. Well, it's clearly gonna get ugly, right? I like... think the Jedi are gonna be very unlikable <laughs> after this episode. I mean, they've, they've been setting it up that he, he clearly has done something atrocious. Good evening, I'm Master Indara. I don't care. I like episode three, guys. I am Anasea, mother of this coven. You're trespassing. We thought this planet was uninhabited. The all-knowing Jedi were ignorant of their surroundings. I find that hard to believe. Oh, cool. Torbin. <sighs> Jedi Padawan. Oh, we're seeing how the spell went down. You've traveled so far only to become trapped on this planet. You are a strong good jedi you are a strong and good jedi but do you have natural desires you suppress uh oh like what do you wish to escape this planet do you wish to escape this planet? Uh, is that a metaphor is that a euphemism do you wish to escape this planet i can help you <laughs> Homeboy's just in a trance. You wish to return to Coruscant? Your master denies you. I would not keep you from what you want. This is the most sexual Star Wars has ever felt. What do you need? Why not ask me? Ask. Ask me. Ask. Ask her. I want to return to Coruscant. That wasn't a question. Neil. 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 If you want your Padawan returned to his right mind, I suggest you all leave. I want to show them what you taught me. Please let me take the test. You cannot deny that Jedi have the right to test potential Padawans. So nothing crazy went down in Torben's mind? Well, all I wanted to do is go to Coruscant. Some strange human desires. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> the scouts will bring Osha to your camp at midday. We appreciate your cooperation. I just want to see the Jedi killing them. I don't want to say same, but same. I feel a connection to Osha. Testing the twins is not something we can take seriously. Osha's too old to join the order. I feel she's meant to be my Padawan. Well, we'll slow your roll. A coven will never let her leave. They are so insular, <sighs> so strange. Oh my god, this guy acted out of selfish desires. They mocked her sister with dark magic. Ceremonial markings are customary in many cultures in the galaxy. She was understanding. But Osha did not have one. I worry she's not safe. That's true. She may have resisted being marked. There's no way to know. <laughs> uh, who is protecting this child if not the Jedi? I believe she wants to leave with us. I mean, she kind of stated that. Do not confuse what Osha wants with what you want. Yeah, no, she put, literally said that. Oh, here we go. Oh. Come on, Torben, give me something good. Torben's a really interesting player in all of this. Let's hope so. Because his, how he went out is one of the more interesting ways, I thought. What is that? I'm not going to hurt you. I just need to take a sample of your blood. Appreciate the approach. It's just episode three, but from the Jedi perspective. In this test, you must divine what images appear on the testing. What you see? A spaceship. A castle. A planet. You know, in anime, 
they'll often like when they're doing these other perspective things they will show you the whole scenes all over again mm. but those are like 30 episodes in a season <laughs> 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 probably a more effective way to do it right <laughs> is your marking a part of ascension do you like it mama says ascension means ocean i will lead the coven that's why i have a marking like mama but your children how can you become the leaders i don't know Mess it up the game. Everyone must walk through fear. Everyone must be sacrificed to fulfill their destiny. Does that sound like some dark side shit? Does oh, that... <laughs> wait. What if all the folks that died did like a typical cult does and drank the Kool Aid? I, I, that's what it sounded like to me. Like, in order for them to ascend, the others needed to die. You must have the courage to tell the truth. We should continue the test. Please. A planet. Correct. Uh oh. She's been hit with a feeling. You, Sol, and Kalnaka, continue the field work. I'll wait here until Coruscant makes contact with us. Or the past. That's actually a really cool shot with the reflection. I agree. The council said no. They will not sanction. Gotta strike them all down. Bringing the twins to Coruscant or separating them from their coven. But there's something dangerous about those women. You saw what they were capable of. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tillman. But always her past. After you coached her, do not alter this little girl's destiny because you have formed an emotional attachment to her. That is not what's happening here. It's kind of what's happening. This says man with emotions. You barely know her. Is the twins' blood test results? Their M count is through the roof. The symbionts are the same. Even identical twins would have different symbionts. The twins were artificially created. Maybe by tapping into a power dense enough to split one consciousness into two bodies. Oh. Only a virgin could create that type of power. It was the virgins. Curious. Gloria, go! Don't you see? Oh, he wants to get out of here. We just need proof of the virgins, and those girls are the proof. This is our ticket home! I knew it! <laughs> wow, he really does not like being on this planet. All because homeboy's homesick. <laughs> he's acting like he's going stir crazy in a cabin. I hate that they just set that up in this episode, though. Feels a little forced, but that's okay. No pun intended. Nighttime speed bikes. I want to be a Jedi, Mama. Same kid. To be a Jedi, Jedi Master. I must discuss the situation with everyone here, but we will consider your wish when we do so. So maybe they didn't drink the Kool-Aid. I don't think so, man. I didn't really quite get where you were going with that, but uh, well, I Well, the, the, the phrasing, <laughs> the phrasing of how it sounded is like they but needed was, to like... She was lying, though. Well, the kid wasn't lying. Yes, she was. That was, uh, that was May. No, but no, but May, May wasn't lying about what her, her mom said. I don't want to go. About becoming a, a become the leader. You want to stop Osha from leaving? Then stop her. She was forced to do it. Now that's a reveal. The Jedi will not warn you before they attack. <sighs> Good girl. Get mad. Oh. Now that, that was worth it. You would sacrifice our future for the wish of a child. My children are our future. But you are also our leader. Letting her make such a bold decision at such an early age. So she put up the whole crazy act. That's why it seems so sudden. No one can get in or out. Witches, arm yourselves. Oh, so there was a fight amongst the witches. I mean, no, they were prepared for the Jedi to come in. For the Jedi, rather. Yeah. Well, but I, I think even amongst the witches, there are... We're stuck here now. Far over. Oh, okay. This is beginning to make a little bit more sense. Can you go faster this time? Can you do like Jedi climbing where you run up it? Like. I need you to help me get the girls. Okay. Okay. Yep. Can't you do like big jumps? You can't do the Jedi jumps. Hmm. Yeah, but what's the arson about? <laughs> <laughs> You must stop him before he starts a conflict. Go! I mean, the Jedi just kind of stepped their foot into territory they didn't need to step their foot into. <laughs> the Jedi have breached the fortress again. I told you we cannot use violence. And I told you I would die before I let the Jedi take my children. Hey, I'm on her side. I'm on the side of not arson. <laughs> I mean, oh, so it was an accident. It was an accident! What are you doing? Oh, she could have said, I'm sorry, it's an accident. That would have been really good context to provide in that moment. Maybe she couldn't hear her. Or maybe she ran to get help. Mama! Mama! Try using the force to put it out. She went to get help. This is genuinely a series of unfortunate events. I don't know where you're at, Michael. I'm, I'm, I'm like not on the Jedi side here. Um, well, 
I'm definitely on the side of maybe everyone just needs to chill out for a second. <laughs> it was foolish to come back here, Jedi. Yeah, I agree with that. The twins, where did they come from? How were they created? Okay, see, that's a valid question. They came from God. Miracle. Uh oh, who strikes those first? Vape, those vape arrows. Someday those noble intentions you all have will destroy every Jedi in the galaxy. All right, oh, all right. Oh, oh. Mama, help! Oja, no, it's help May. Me. Gonna tell it's them apart. May. Oh, she struck first. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, dude. Dude. Oh, my God. I was going to let Osha go. It's what she wants. Oh, my God. Ah, uh, Saul. No! Oh, Jesus. Mama! And so, what, you just killed them all after that? Just cover it up? Oh, and it's not Osha. Me. Run! Oh, no, no, May of course hates Soul. He's fighting so emptily. Oh my god, the guilt is washing over him. Ah, uh, yeah, he's like, I really deserve this, though. <laughs> Alright, arrows versus lightsaber, kind of sick, not gonna lie. 10 out of 10, here for it. Fight me! Don't do it, soul. Oh, jeez, OP. I'm into it, man. <laughs> nope, not a fan. You should not have brought him here. My mind is fortified. <laughs> All right. Not you. Oh, what are they doing? <laughs> oh, no. Possessing Kalnaka, that's why he wants to live in isolation. Oh man. Oh boy. Everyone wanted a Wookiee lightsaber fight. Sick. Whoa! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good wire work. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh god. Oh, this is intense. Damn, there's so much strength. Oh, gosh. It's like a blow. Oh. Oh. oh, how do Go. you have Good this save, physical dude. strength to do that? He's going to tear off Torbin's hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how he got the scar. Sick. Gosh, he's so massive. Yeah. Whoa, great. All right, all right. Again. Don't have the physical oh, strength to match soul, him. Buddy. <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, my God. Oh, man. I mean, the only way to stop him is to kill all of them. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Uh, oh, she's powerful. Oh my god, did she kill all of them? Did that kill all of them? Oh my god. That's bad news bears. Yeah, I mean, she just straight up, like, mini genocided this entire. Oh my god. Oh. Where's Mama? Mama's dead. Soul's having just a terrible day. He let May die. He let May die. Oh, so he made some bad choices that day. <laughs> God. That's going to be one awful report to write back to the council. <laughs> they covered some shit up. We're going home. 
Congratulations, you got what you wanted. <laughs> I warned both of you. I wanted the twins to be safe. I wanted to go no home. No thought of the consequences. No thought of the consequences, indeed. I had to make a choice. Rash decision. Oh. Master! What will we tell the council? We will tell the council the truth. Which is? May burn down the witch's fortress and everyone was lost. That's the truth. Before you throw yourself at the mercy of the council, ask yourself why you made this choice. Even failed her as a Padawan, as a, as a master to her. You're okay, Osha. Where am I? We're on our way to Coruscant. What happened? I'll never tell you. <laughs> oh man, amazement is carrying this truth around the whole time. They started a fire. I don't blame May for anything she did now. No, yeah. Talk about a uh, redeeming. Uh... Ugh. Well, what's this song? It sounds like a custom made The Power of Two. Uh... They're chanting. What? What is this? <laughs> okay. This is a choice. Thick skin, big scars. Tethered to you. <laughs> this is a song about me and Osha. I think this is <laughs> ah. Well, th listen, the chorus. It's gonna be the. It's gonna be their little chant song. Let's hear it. Twin flame. Twin flame. <laughs> <laughs> I feel shame when they call me your name. <laughs> this is so, I don't know why this is so funny. <laughs> this is so corny. I'm all for it. I'm going to play this song on my Spotify. Test my... <laughs> oh, man. And they're letting us, like, take this in. They're not, yeah. like, they're not telling me to watch the next Disney Plus thing. No, nah, no, nah, this Twin. is, uh, <laughs> we're, we're sitting with this. Yeah. Thought I had a life with you. This is episode three and, and seven. You know, the power, power of, two. of two. Oh, man. The power of two, baby. Do you think this is going to win a Grammy? I hope so. Who, who did this? I don't know, but I'm sticking around to find out. I, I, I feel bad rip, ripping on it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's kind of corny. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is it like is, something you did in like the 90s. <laughs> you know? it's, it, it feels like a... Um, <laughs> like for Star Wars especially, this is such a, this is a, such I, a choice. It's, it's, it's a real definitive choice. <laughs> this is the best part of the episode to me. I've never paid attention more through credits in my entire life. Well, it's I don't remember the last time they had credits that didn't cut to something. So they really want us to listen to this. I know this is a produced song. Yeah. <laughs> is that a that must be a first for Star Wars? I think this is a I don't think we've ever heard a Star Wars song during credits that was some like Spotify tune. Yeah. I'll just say this. I'm super jazzed with, like, Kevin Kiner. I know he's got great vocals. <laughs> <laughs> he's killing it right now. Twin Flame. I don't want to say it feels very AI. Like, if you asked AI to write a song about their relationship. Yeah, they probably like input the scripts for the two episodes and then said, uh, Chat me GPT a, and was write like, me a tune here. Yeah. Not bad for ChatGPT. No, not bad at all. Yeah. They got the new 4-0. Twin Flame. This is for all the, the people who love me and Osha, man. <laughs> Twin Flame. Do you think our fans are sticking mm. with us to the review at this point? Like, are they... Who cares, man? We're in it just for ourselves now. We're in it mm. for ourselves. <laughs> On oh, Twin yeah. Flame. You're my Twin Flame, Michael. You're my Twin Flame. Mm. You're my Twin Flame. I hate when people get us confused, though. Oh, it's oh, a music game. Lucasfilm. Lucasfilm? Yes. Oh, shit. Oh, 
Oh shit! Star Wars. <laughs> oh jeez. What has what has happened? <laughs> Greg, do you remember when you asked me? Um, uh, I've never been so happy with Star Wars. <laughs> Do you remember when you asked me if I thought Star Wars was, Dead? was done? Dead? Yeah. That was, I think, your exact no, phrasing. It has been resurrected I, into a new stratosphere with whatever just, that song was, Michael. I, I just, um, I think about, like, what people think Star Wars is, like, what it was. Like, just for a moment, <laughs> imagine, like, like, Padme has just died. The funeral procession has just happened. Uncle Owen is looking out at, at the binary sunset. It's uh -huh. it's the credits are rolling on on Revenge of the Sith. We think it's the last Star Wars movies. And instead of uh, the, the twin sons, they play twin flames as, <laughs> as the final song. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Can somebody please edit that together and put it on YouTube right now? Never like, been please, so happy. For the love of God. Let's talk about um, this episode, Michael. Yeah, Greg. All right, we're on, Michael. We did it. We watched Acolyte and we listened to the greatest new song of the year. I heard it won 10 to 12 Grammys. Did it now. Yeah. Did it now. Mm hmm Well, Michael, um, I want to go first because I am over the moon right now. My, That's no moon, Greg. There's no moon at all. <laughs> I like this episode more than last week, and that's all that counts to me. I know that episode three was the time when the world turned against Greg and Michael. I still stand by that episode. And this episode is episode 3.0. <laughs> I enjoyed it quite a bit. Do I think some stuff could have been trimmed out? Sure. Do we need to see this repeat perspective? Not like on some scenes you're like, don't really need this scene again. I kind of got it. Let's speed it up a little bit. But for the most part, I found it intriguing engaging i don't know what people are gonna be mad about this time because what they're painting these jedi not in a good light so what they're not the jedi you need to love they're not luke you cannot like these jedi <laughs> i don't i think i'm totally on the witch's side in this one they were so imposing like the second they showed her like we know what we must do we know what's right everything's wrong about this and in like 24 hours they just want to strip away this little girl from her home i thought it was a bunch of bullshit the way they handled it and uh then you see the reactionary ways of how soul went about it killing the mom in that great soap opery fashion it was like i was actually gonna let her go with you you done fucked up soul it was awesome. You get that guilt. You right come in there. to me on the day of my daughter's That's ascension. <laughs> and, uh, and freaking uh, Tobin. What's his name? Tobin? Torben. 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 Also known as Tomen. To the Torben. Just... King, of, King of the Andels and the Seven Kingdoms. You know, that's <laughs> Tomen from Game of Thrones. Cool. Did you put that together, Greg? Definitely not. Um, but Torben just uh was just freaking antsy and getting a little cabin fever <laughs> just really wanted to get home i just want to get to coruscant that was his big driving motivation was a lack of patience even though on their mission they were looking for life this whole time <laughs> and then they finally find life and he doesn't readjust he's like no, I still want to go home. I still yeah, want to get the hell out of here. Liter literally the antithesis of Star Trek. Oh, like, man. Like, Torben goes on one Star Trek mission, and he's like, nope. nope, nope yeah. <laughs> Just absolutely slaughters everybody in his wake. Um, Here's no, the that, thing. Yeah. I, I grasp at straws sometimes <laughs> with this show just to be entertained, and I yeah. was entertained during it. In spite yeah. of whatever hiccups the episode had, yeah. I would put this one up on the higher end of the series. I, I had fun. Yeah. Definitively had fun. And that song, uh, that song did it 
capped it off in the best way imaginable. You it's, ramble now while I go upload this thing, Michael. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't I don't want to say that it's the skyfall of <laughs> credit sequences, <laughs> but but it might as well be. Um, sure. Greg, what are people going to say that every time I start speaking, you literally get up and walk away? I'm from... just having to <laughs> upload this thing. I know, so we I know, I know. Get this footage to I, I know, I know. It's fine. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Go, go do your thing. No, I man, have, I'm right here. I, I, I have. I'm... I have the people. I That's exported all I need. it at the wrong quality, <laughs> so I have to rerun the export anyway. That's all right. Uh, I I work exclusively in 240. That's it. No, uh, right. and anything above that is above the quality of content that I can deliver. It shows so. in this video. I mean, no, your webcam looks better than last week's. It's not your webcam, is it? It's someone else's. Yeah, yeah I, I don't own a computer. Yeah, this is uh, someone else. I'm like, this camera quality is way better than last week. <laughs> yeah. So uh, let's talk about the episode. The, what's, what's going on with the virgins? That's so interesting to me. So this idea of there is apparently sometimes when one part of the force <laughs> and the other part of the force feel really strongly about each other, they can come together and they they make new force. Um, uh, I, I think what's interesting, and, oh, and I, I kind of want to go back and, and listen to the the piece one more time because there was a lot of stuff going on um but uh there was this this hyper space uh lane incident uh that was like a pretty like calamitous event that occurred i think like a hundred years or so before when this all takes place and it's okay. part of why the galaxy loves the jedi so much um because they ended up like saving a lot of people um but it like completely messed up the whole galaxy. It was this whole big ordeal. Um, okay. And uh, it sounds like all of that is somehow connected to this plot. And it's pretty, it's like a major central thread uh, of the whole High Republic arc. So I'm actually, I'm really glad that they, they mentioned it and tied it in. Um, what's kind of curious though is like, we still don't have the answer of like, did the Coven find these kids? Did the Coven produce the kids using this convergence of the force um you know they're uh, also kind of indicating wasn't that, that what they were implying at the very least well it, it what they said and what what the jedi said and what the witches said kind of give me two separate impressions which is exciting because there's still i guess more mystery to unravel there sure i think the interesting notion is that like may and osha are in effect the same person yeah. um they're like split consciousness or something like that right yeah which presents the like could they you know willy wonka them back together you know <laughs> like <laughs> you know what i mean like can you uh put them put them into a single consciousness um uh i it's I don't know. It's interesting territory. The The actual episode itself, um, I mean, it gets to the heart of, like, <laughs> the Jedi, they do love their secrets, um, which is a problem, uh, like an ongoing problem. Uh, I was a little bummed. I felt like the Torben bit was, like, if, if they had maybe planted that seed in earlier episodes about, like, him not wanting to be there or... You know, I just felt like that was such a weak sauce yeah. reason to like. Oh God, yeah, that was rush into the witch's den. You know, I want to go home. <laughs> I mean, I, I thought it was more compelling. Like, there was a moment when I was like, "Oh, he's like lusting right now." Like, I could have been sold on that, you know. But like, I want to go to Coruscant. You know, I, that didn't that didn't quite do it for me um, no i thought the motivation was weird. especially to have like his death be the way it was in the second episode it was like come on really like he didn't even seem like the worst one of that whole bunch yeah i mean kalnaka's isolation makes a lot of sense like like especially after seeing how ferocious and awful 
their power is, yeah. you know, in, in that regard. Sure, sure, um, sure. You know, I think Soul's series of unfortunate events and all of, like, what... It just, like... Like, visually, it was really fun. Like, mm. I had a really fun time. Pacing-wise, eh, it was really hard for me to, like... Like, uh, like I was following, but I'm also, like... It still didn't... You know, but again, that's just been my overarching... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. ...challenge through the through the series. But, you know, I'm... I didn't think the dialogue I, was as bad as it normally was. <laughs> no, no, I mean, in, in that regard, I, I, I completely agree. Um, I also think it helped that, like, you had, you know... Uh, uh, Carrie Ann Moss, like uh, Carrie Ann, the series. Oh, uh -huh. you did it! Uh, sorry, um, you know, and uh, and I'm kind of curious how you feel, but like, I feel good. Was <laughs> was Soul <laughs> was Soul just a little too much, too early? Yeah, like it was like old it. soul talking in young soul's body. Yeah, um, I agree. Full one might say he was an old soul in a young man's body. He was like, oh, I don't want this little girl. These witches bad. <laughs> like right away. Yeah, I got I got bad feeling. I'm not even gonna try to understand what's really going yeah. on. I just know I got I yeah. need this little girl. And, yeah, and and, and I I guess in that regard, it was it just didn't hit the way that like I was hoping it was gonna hit. Um, Dude, no, that being no, said, nothing like, is going to hit the way it's going to hit. It's like we just got to yeah. measure it by, yeah, like but, last. But episode there was thing. there was sick moments, right? So yeah. like watching the Kalnaka lightsaber sequence, that was freaking epic. Like watching Carrie and Moss, epic. like yeah. uh, watching a Wookiee with a lightsaber jump and like cool. literally like boom, put arm or leg through wall. I think epic's a very generous word. Well, I like to use hyperbole, <laughs> Greg. Um, so, you know, I, I also think Carrie Ann Moss is pulling Kalnaka out of that mental state, and that being the thing that put the kill switch, like, inceptioned off all those characters. She was the worst one of them all, dude. Well, and, and I think the fact that she didn't want to be involved in it made it even worse. Like, even her, her moment with Soul, I thought, was the best part of the episode of, like there is this like anger and guilt and uh i mean she sees herself as this like tantamount great jedi master and then all of a sudden she's now been put into this position where the truth will genuinely destroy everyone's career it does absolutely no service to the sole survivor of the incident and She's just got to live with that, you know. Um, uh, dude, I I think um, the I think these characters, the Jedi, are, are horrible. Um, I think they're hor <laughs> like seriously, they're horrible. <laughs> but they they use uh, Osha as an excuse oh. of like, oh, come on, she had she had t as a way to still live under the veneer and 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 put away all their their sins and they like when you catch up with them in the show at the beginning parts of the show they're still jediing it up you know torben's like master meditator jedi soul still teaching the youth even way after osha's already left the jedi order um and uh you know and carrie moss seems like she's still jediing it up <laughs> at the very top of the in the first episode so i i think that like using it as an excuse to not uh own up to this terrible sin that, that, that occurred yeah. I think it's awful. well well torben took a vow of silence and then isolated himself on the most boring planet possible yeah torben's all right cal Kalnaka <laughs> literally moved to a jungle that if you go to and you use a lightsaber you will be hunted down by flying lamprey creatures but how long like, was he there for for a long time, it sounded like they'd say nobody's had contact with him in like ten years or something like that. Oh, okay, never you know, mind. Never mind. Right. You know, Soul. Then it's Soul. Soul and Indara. Soul, are the no, worst. Soul. You know, uh, Indara is kind of the, you know, um, and I think in a lot of ways, like it would kind of blow everyone else's cover if she said too much, right? Like, sure. um, yeah. I mean, I think Soul is really the guiltiest one here. Thousand in the, percent. Yeah. Um, 
you know. But also, it's really Torben's fault. Like, if Torben hadn't gone, I'm pretty sure that it probably wouldn't have gone down the way it went down. If Torben um, wasn't so anxious to go because they couldn't come up with a stronger motivation, then I, I just want to go home. <laughs> yeah, they really, really needed a stronger motivation just to convince me. Um, I thought but, I thought like the mom was gonna like tempt him with uh, like like lustful seduction and stuff, and it was yeah. gonna like toy on his mind, like something a little bit more psychologically interesting, and and then and then he might want to like be tempted to strike them down for like making a mess with his Jedi fucking you know ab, uh, yeah abs no, which, or whatever, which would have been sick because then the yeah. vow of silence. And the vow of celibacy, like, you can't risk falling in love if right. you don't talk to anybody. Right. You know. But then again, last episode was Darth Thirst Trap, so I understand maybe not wanting to double dip in, you know. I thought um, Mom and um, Torben Mind is a little sexier than uh, whatever dude, that was. Dude, same. Honestly, you know. Like, you know um, I'll just say it. Yeah. Uh, uh, hashtag Darth Mommy. Darth Mommy. Uh, that? What was she doing when she went all dark and then Sol was like, I gotta stab her? She she was gonna go help May and help Osha. So so that but, I think but, that was uh, the great irony of it is she was about to like transport herself to go help find Osha and help put out the fire. Is what I interpreted. Okay. Which is the great irony of it. If if Sol had just not done anything maybe none of that would have gone down that way you know what um, beat was missing for me was the other mom the one who looks kind of like dathomirian um yeah. her not having much of a reaction to the mom dying that was a beat that was missing for me well there, there definitely was like that uh obi-wan watching qui-gon get stabbed spoiler uh like ah, you know but i did appreciate the like fight me moment i felt like that was her reaction to fair you got me there um you know and and i i really i thought that was soul's best acting of the episode was the guilt that he immediately felt in the aftermath of like defending himself but not even being able to attack and react to the yeah. fact that he just committed murder um was really interesting I, um soul's still my favorite character out of the series he's still the most compelling and most interesting one to watch well, and i think i think this added a, a fascinating dynamic to it yeah um mostly because like what's the redemption now i, I guess my question is um our our sith lord you know uh whatever we want to call him uh darth thirst trap uh <laughs> what is his connection I have no fucking and idea. why does why does he care so much? And I, I'm assuming, I, like I the only logical it. thread to me at this point is the convergence. Um, hmm. And what what's interesting about the convergence, um, and and frankly, this is where I wish I knew a little bit more about the High Republic. Um, so the the hyperspace lane incident. Um, one of the big Jedi, like one of the big figures at the time, is. Uh, uh, Venestra, the green one, okay. um, whom I am, I'm like betting was the master of our Sith Lord. Sure. Um, that, that scar on the back is like eerily whip like, you know, when, uh, when May noticed it or Osha noticed it rather, right, uh, right. on, on the back, um, you know, and that would be kind of interesting. So maybe, maybe there's a connection here. Um, uh, so I don't know. Many, many questions, many interesting things. I'm so curious as to how the hell they're going to wrap this up in an episode. Um, but it also says to me that their plan is to not wrap this up in an episode. Their plan is to get a season two. Um, There's no way and, they can wrap this up in an episode. I think they're going to no. kill off Soul. I think Soul's going to die. <sighs> right? He has to die. Well, he has to pay for his sins. But is that how you pay for your sins, or can you like confront it and like talk it out? And that doesn't May? work in Star Wars. Life or death, baby. Yeah, yeah. You were the well, chosen one. I uh, I'm really excited. You know, I still think 
Vanestra is the master of our Sith Lord, who I think is the founder of the Knights of Ren, and that's what I'm gunning with. I think the convergence is the converging of all these story points. I do think, um, as uh, was pointed out to me by several uh, individuals, uh, and after rereading part of the Darth Plagueis uh, book, have you read the Darth Plagueis book? Oh, dude, I've read them all. Greg, don't none of that malarkey. All right. No, I'm a, I'm um, a huge Plagueis fan. I'm always like, oh, when's Plagueis gonna? This is Plagueis's planet. Yeah, Plagueis. That speech in Revenge of the Sith. Such a Plagueis. Plagueis do you know who? Do you know who Plagueis is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was the master of um, of the Emperor. Yeah. Good job. Nice. You did it. Mm-hmm. Sick. Seen en- enough videos where people mention him to commit that well, to memory. Uh, the planet that they <laughs> uh, that they were on is very likely that planet, uh, mostly because the material that the the helmet was made out of was anyway. So, long story short, I I wonder if we may see some some additional characters uh, from you know mentioned in in the Plagueis series. Anyway, I'm excited. The There's Plagueis. one episode left, so I will miss everybody. Um, mostly yelling at us and putting Greg in his place because he's a Disney shell and I'm a soy boy. Um, but, uh, dude, I will Disney shill if they give me a screening to Deadpool and Wolverine, which, yeah, uh, well, I, know, I was going to say, we're not we, shilling hard enough because, because we don't we, get things because we don't get the things we try to get. It, so <laughs> I need to shill harder. Uh, cause yeah, I, I got the memo, to, but a bunch of people who got Deadpool and Wolverine screen invites. I'm like, not us. Apparently, they're yeah. mad at us. Apparently, we went to the dark side a little too soon. Um, yeah. Um, all I said is that I didn't like the writing one time. Next thing you know, yeah, M- Mickey Mouse has a gun to my head and is holding my children. Um, oh, oh, boy. <laughs> You're never going to see your wife again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <fuck>. Anyway. <laughs> uh <laughs> Well, enough about our thoughts on the episode. What did all of you think? Leave your comments below. I will read them, even if you say that you hate me. Um, uh, but what did you what did you like? Even if you hated the series, what did you like about this episode? And what did you hate <laughs> about this episode? And what did you feel eh, about this episode? I want all three of those. And most importantly... Um, wish Greg a very happy birthday. Yeah, I need it. Lord knows I do. Anyway, guys, yeah. All right, bye, everyone. Thanks for being here. (laughs) See you soon.